This is Jake with AG Russell Knives. Thank you for joining in today. We are going over some Boker fixed blade buoys. And uh, these guys are really cool. So we're just gonna jump right in. This is the Boker Arbolito small buoy. It says small buoy, but it is still a six and a half inch blade. It's, it's a pretty beefy blade. Six and a half inches, pretty wide. It's got a quarter inch stock. So it is it's a chunky sucker. You're not gonna, you're not gonna break this. <laughs> Got a pretty thick guard as well. Slight taper, it is full tang, a slight taper in the tang there, which is nice, helps with the balance. Um, you can see it balances right at the middle there, which is nice. Um, comes in two handle materials, uh, guaiacan wood, I'm totally butchering that name, but that's what I'm gonna say, the guaiacan wood and green G10. Uh, really nice textured handles, they are not gonna slip, they are pretty, pretty slip resistant. <laughs> uh, the texturing is very reminiscent of the Oryx Antelope Antler. Um, definitely somewhat of a hot, I mean it is, it's super textured. You probably, if you're going to use it this hard, you're probably going to want gloves on, but uh, that's not going to slip out no matter how wet it is. It is coated in a gunmetal gray PVD coating, so very similar to DLC. It's um, physical vapor de deposition, I think is the same process. They put it into a vacuum and they put on the coating atom by atom. So it is a really, really tough coating. You're gonna struggle, I mean, it's, you're, you're probably not gonna scratch this off. I don't think you can, um, short of something really hard like diamond. I mean, obviously diamond's gonna do it. But um, both of them are a N690, Five bowler stainless steel. These are AG Russell exclusives. You can only get it through AG Russell. And um, that with this specific coating and handle materials, etc. Um, but they're they're pretty cool. They also come with a very well made well made leather sheath. It's a dangler sheath. I like that. It's, it'll stick lower down on the legs so the handle's not stabbing you on the side. Um, you can remove the dangler if you want to and just have it in as a belt carry. I wouldn't do that because the handle would stick up pretty high. You see, they, if you had the belt down here, the handle's going up this high. So yeah, the dangler, dangler puts it just to the right height, I think. Um, locks in with this little strap right here. So it is not going anywhere. The only thing I'm moving is, is the dangler, really. Um, nice stitching on there. Um, very well, felt well done leather work, I'd say. I think I'm pretty impressed with what they're putting out from Argentina. I, I like it. These are running 199, and uh, yeah, they're really cool. Really, really cool. There is also the Boca Arbolito Stag Buoy. This is gonna be the full size, nine and three eighths inches long. Again, quarter inch thick stock steel. This is N690 stainless. Got that nice wedge or uh, swedge on the top here. It is not sharpened. Same on the uh, small one. Not sharpened. That's going to make it available to more people in in more states, just due to state laws not allowing you to have the back end sharpened, depending on your state. Um, and it does have the absolutely gorgeous uh, red deer stag antlers. Um, they do a very good job with this. They make sure they leave a lot of bark on there. A lot of companies grind it off just to make it try and fit. But in my opinion, if you're grinding off the bark, you might as well not use stag, just use bone at that point. Um, but uh, this model, absolutely great job with the, I've yet to see a bad example of the stag scales on here. And it is hard to get scales this big because, you know, they're, they're coming out round and they need to fit this length of, uh, this length. So it's got to be a pretty large stag antler to fit on here, or this width, I mean. Yeah, so it's, it's difficult to find. They're importing this red stag from Europe, I believe, because red stag and sambar Indian stag are going to be the best two kinds. The other types of stag, like whitetail, way too pithy, doesn't make a very good handle material. Um, this one is even thicker on the guard. <laughs> I just, I think I find it funny, so funny how thick the guard is, but uh, it's, it's cool. It's, it's a very nice blade. I sold this the other day to a fellow who said he was going to use it as his hog sticker. He's going to go hide in a tree and jump, put some bait at the bottom, jump down and kill a hog. That's, that's a lot braver than I'm, 
I'm ever going to be. But um, this, if, you, if I had to pick one, this is a solid choice. A solid choice. Again, comes with a really nice sheath. This one is tooled. Nice stitching on there. Um, got some extra decorations on there. It is a dangler sheath. It's got a little extra bit to strap it to your leg there. So you can thread something through that. And this one is coming in at $215. It's not an AG Russell exclusive per se, but I think we actually have pretty much all of them that went to North America. So I don't, I don't think you can get it from anyone else um, short of shipping it out of Argentina. <laughs> um, so it is more or less an exclusive, really, really cool Bowie. I mean, yeah, for 215, this kind of thickness and this nice scales with a nice leather sheath, that is a solid price. I think uh, any, anyone you still haven't bought for, this would make a nice gift. That's going to wrap it up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That is always helpful. And as always, stay bladed, stay sharp. Have a good one.